So I can accuse him. Or I can uh, accuse her. Good day, officer. Miss Von Staub awaits you in her boudoir. Going on a trip, miss? No, I'm leaving permanently. This place brought me nothing but sorrow. I am sorry. What do you want? I think the time has come to be honest with each other, Miss Von Staub. I'll start with my confession. I misled you in our previous meeting. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and I do not work for the police. What? I don't understand. In actuality, I was independently investigating your brother's death and came to an unexpected conclusion. How? Why? It was not a tragic accident, miss. It was cold-blooded murder. And I know the culprit. No. Who is he? Nice try, but as you well know, I'm talking to the culprit right now. What? Are you out of your mind? Certainly not. Allow me to explain how you killed your brother. Uh, what were the means of the crime? This is absurd. I've never even been to that cursed place. The missing box in your brother's room contained a lamat, the same weapon used for the murder. You stole it to kill your brother. What? No. Eric was obsessed with guns. I bet he simply left that revolver somewhere else. Yes, it was left somewhere else. The crime scene. Abandoned in panic. A typical feminine response. No, I've never been to that cursed place. What was the window opportunity? You hid behind the wall in the ruins. None of the others present could have killed Eric from that position. Both the duelists were blindfolded and Mr. Von Kram is ill-sighted. So nobody saw anything? Your imagination has run wild. Ah, but you forget one thing. A blind man's other senses grow stronger. Mr. Von Kram detected a lavender and pine scent. That of your ointment. You're taking the word of a sightless man. This is monstrous. It is your brother who was monstrous. He was a tyrant and you could tolerate his abuse no longer. Living with Eric was a nightmare, yes. But he was my brother, I... Now, Miss von Staub, take your time. Tell me the truth. After our parents died, my life slowly became hell. My brother began to humiliate me. Then he became violent. Each day he'd invent a new punishment. Shut my room, burn my paintings, starve me. And without fail, I would be beaten. All visits were forbidden, all contact forbidden. I was his caged bird, his pet. When we did go out, he used me to bait influential people. He sold me to Mr. Boddington simply to earn a place amongst this island's elite. Was that not freedom from your brother? He sold me as a thing, sir. Who do you think this gentleman was? I could not endure more cruelty. 
Mr. Holmes, I'm begging you. Please don't do this to me. Don't throw me from one cage to another. Oh, what should I do? She is free. You have suffered enough, Miss von Staub, but now it is over. I will not turn you into the police. I... I don't know what to say. What will happen with the case? The usual. With their typical stupidity, the inspectors will confidently declare the case a tragic accident and that will be that. I... I didn't expect such kindness. Kindness? No, where the truth reveals injustice, I expect accountability. But in this matter, Miss von Staub, I see no injustice at all. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. I'll never forget what you're doing. I am behind you 100%. I'm sure Miss von Staub wouldn't waste the chance for a better life. Cool. Now to this case. Okay, I have read my <clears throat> my way into this. I'm going to dress like one of the gang people who died. Well, I don't have the hair. face Billy so it means we need a face makeup scar face and we need other <clears throat> other hair beer he doesn't have okay cool um yeah silver tone north side of Finch Canary and silver tone. And let's try this. I'm gonna save before I go. But also we need to go to the mm, clothing clothing place. Warehouse number three. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Oh, this is Kenner. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, but we need an outfit or we we need a hair. <clears throat> Clothing. Okay. Well, let's let's go. Extra, extra. Turning a blind eye. A blind duel takes another victim. Von Staub's murderer remains at liberty. Interested in some Cordona news? Check the front page. You won't regret it. The best ant. Sorry, I've nothing to offer you at present. We have a large. The finest clothes for the finest citizens. Oh, they also don't have a hair. Well, <clears throat> then maybe it's okay. Well, of course. Think it over. Take your. Oh, it's not him. Like he has a short hair. I mean, doesn't even matter. <clears throat> okay. I 
Okay, well, let's go to this first warehouse number three, and then let's go to the other place. Um, yeah. Oh, actually, the cannery is a bit closer, so maybe let's go there. Okay, so before I do anything, I will save for sure. And we are at the. Okay, on the door side of the Finch can we in Silverton. We are correct, right? This is the. Yeah. Oh! I'm coming, Sherry. Just give me another second. I can't seem to find the boss. Where's Penza? I'm not your nanny at that muck snipe. I need to get more men to warehouse too now, so quit bothering me, will you? Warehouse number two. Was that it? Did we do it? We did not fuck it up. Okay, cool. Now warehouse number three. Which would be to the right. And we're looking for ex-military man with uh, with one eye. And there is a code phrase as well. How much for the fish? My cross informer should be somewhere around here. Try not to mess it up, or you'll blow his cover. challenge first try yeah okay mm. ex-military man who lost his eye in the battle I think he has both eyes no No. Why do we have to pay them to look the other way? I overheard the eels discussing how they bribed some policemen to turn a blind eye. Uh, to this warehouse. Okay. No. Now what is this? The paint is fresh. This symbol was drawn recently. Here's a lady. No. Well, I can't even enter if I... Are they one not here? Um, okay. Should I ask about this? I don't know. On the first try, informant. He's ex military who's lost his eye in the battle. Or should I like go like this? Friendly. Glass eye. Yeah. Him. Hello. Hello, sir. 
I thought like the lost eye will be seen, but I cannot talk with him. Am I wearing the wrong outfit? I'm not sure. I identified him. But I can't even talk with him. Hello? Maybe I have to pin it. Ah, oh, probably I have to pin it. Let's try. Is this familiar to you? Hey, you're a lucky man. I know about this. The informant was unable to reveal Panzer's location to me, though uh, he did tell me that Eels reduced the number of guards at the warehouse three. Uh, he could have been more helpful, but all right. Okay. Um. Warehouse two more men. Okay, and this painted eye. No warehouse wall. I can also pin this and ask about it. Let's do this. May I ask you something? Brother, you found the right person to ask. The eye is a sign of uh sign for corrupt policemen to look the other way. Interesting. But does it help? <laughs> does it help? Uh, I mean, I don't know. So we have like two options. Warehouse two and when warehouse three. Oh man. Okay, I had to look it up in the internet because I would I would go with the third one because why would the police not look here? Um, like to the warehouse number three, but apparently the number two is the correct one. At least, at least that's what internet says. I would choose the third one, but oh well. Mm. So, um, should we just try to get in? Who the hell is that? Get him! I'm coming for you! Take a rest, my friend. I'm coming. No more crime for you until next month. Simple. Give him the pepper snuff. <laughs> no 
No more crime for you and the snuff's ready. I couldn't miss the party. Give him the pepper snuff. Eat lead! Time to knock this guy out. Get ready for some pain. Can overcome the... Too simple. The snuff's ready. Don't bother moving. You've lost. I thought we were again. Take a rest, my friend. Give him the pepper snuff. I'm coming. Damn it! Damn it! I'm gonna reload. <laughs> Don't cry, you'll live. I captured pants and now I should report to I'm missing at the newspaper. Huh. Panzer is captured, but alive. Now to report to Miss Sertle. I can leave, why not? I gotta say this this um Fighting is a bit annoying. Yeah, newspaper. Um... I did use the location of Friedrich Panzer and was able to apprehend him. So I heard. What a coup. Congratulations are in order. And a new article in the paper. Perhaps a sterling stranger squashes smugglers? How kind of you. I'm sure with little more thought you will land on the perfect headline. Huh? Uh, with a little more thought? Uh, you're no writer, Mr. Holmes. Leave it to someone who knows what sells. Since you're here, Mr. Holmes, how about an interview? Uh, strictly on background? Get to know the real you. Mycroft is rather tight-lipped, as you know. Information is Mycroft's currency, and he does not disperse it lightly. He will tell you a barefaced lie without hesitation if it advances his cause. As for your request, I'm afraid the real me pales in comparison to your vivid imagination. An interview would do us both a disservice. Hmm. Perhaps it's best to let the mystery be. Uh, now... On to other matters. We have another case for you. Are you interested? I'd never hear the end of it from Mycroft if I declined, so please, Miss Sertle, fill me in. I cannot. 
Your brother insisted that the contents of this envelope were for your eyes only. I can merely wish you a clear mind and a fleet foot. Okay. Nice. Um, we're gonna start with the missing shopkeeper after we do this other quest that I have. And... Um, well, not that. The ghost hunter. Silver tone. Um, in the neighborhood, southern pier of the Silverton port. Let's do this. Let's do this quest. So, south is it here? Silverton docks. Southern Pier. Hmm. Well, I think we'll, we'll go here. And then see. Okay, you know what? I was looking at the wrong spot. <clears throat> I was looking here. Where it's here. This is also part of the silver tone. Damn it. So, okay. Here was the poster. So I assume we go down here. Yeah, that's more like a Silverton port. Oh, this... This is what I... What I'm missed not much brandy was spilled when the bottle broke someone had drunk most of it already not enough blood for a murder but plenty to suggest fists were flying in a collie shangles I wonder if Luigi made it himself I reckon the ghost is responsible for all this mess don't jump to conclusions. Until we locate any evidence to the contrary, we shall continue to exclude the supernatural. Let me concentrate, John. The ghost hunter's stand was here. Someone stormed up angrily. Let me take it from here. It was the ghost of Cordona, a horrific being, formless, with evil eyes and glassy skin that shimmered like a nebula. It lurched towards its foe. Yeah, exactly that. No, John, it was human. We're staring at the evidence of a scuffle between men. <sighs> a little imagination never hurt anybody. If a monk realizes they've been had, that the fear was baseless, the money defrauded, they will likely return to voice their displeasure. <laughs> and thus Luigi took a beating. Fools should have at least moved locations between scams. <laughs> After the attack, he fled bloodied and bruised. Well, am I doing this correct? I don't know. A uh, clear trail, so it shouldn't be hard to track him down. Clear. Mm. 
It was Looks like you crawled that way. suggested intoxication this vomit confirms it well if you were tailing supernatural creatures for a living wouldn't you start drinking thanks to you I am often forced to tail the supernatural and yet I'm still sober mostly there's a bottle missing after expelling all the alcohol from his stomach it seemed he was compelled to replenish it Perhaps because booze eases the pain of his lonely and dangerous life as a ghost hunter. You need to stop reading the Penny Dreadfuls. bottle here. I think we must be near his hideout. Maybe we just leave, Sherry. There is no need to disturb the ghost hunter from his beauty sleep. Looks like an appropriate home for a ghost hunter. I have a bad feeling about this. Donations, one presumes. So this is where all the money was going. The painter definitely has an aesthetic. And crafted actually rather beautiful work. and unsettling sound. So you see, John, nothing supernatural, just a drunken lowlife fooling superstitious sailors for a living. You can't argue with the truth. The truth will out no matter what one does. You can embellish it all you like, but you're just delaying the inevitable. Well, you can delay it no more. After what happened at the port, this scam won't work again. No. Maybe we just leave, Sherry. There is no need to disturb the ghost hunter from his beauty sleep. Well, we're done. So, let's move on. Uh, yeah, we're not doing this, not doing that. Well, we're doing this if we find it. So... Okay, we we'll, could go back to the manor. But I think I still have some monies to spend, so let's find a um, shop. Uh, where I haven't been yet to buy some more stuff. For, for the manor. And then let's go to the other case that, is, uh, that was given to us. 